Hey everyone, welcome to Monday Morning Tectorials. Today we're going to be talking about something absolutely incredible, augmented reality. Now the first time that I ever saw augmented reality was in Robocop. That's Robocop 1. Probably the best one. What is augmented reality? In my eyes, augmented reality is really changing something that's physical into something that's digital, taking it one step further. An example of that would be taking this picture. And normally you can tell the students, oh hey, could you write me a story about what you think is happening here? Nothing too complex. Now if you look around you, that thing just came to life. That's nuts. That's augmented reality. But does that help us as educators? Is that really, according to the SAMR model, changing my pedagogy? I don't really think so. I think that's substitution. But today, we're going to be going through three different apps that might fall in three different categories in the SAMR model. I'll leave it up to you to decide. So the first one we're going to take a look at is Anatomy 4D. Now this one's pretty cool and all that you need to do is download the application and prepare one of their pages. So you grab their pages, you download them, and then you print them off and this is what you get. So you put out the app and voila, 4D skeletal system. Now that's pretty cool but you can also look at all the different musculature. You can look at the lymphatic, the respiratory, the nervous system. Now one of the downsides that I found to this is you actually can't click on any of the elements and identify them. So really this is another instance of substitution. Now it is pretty cool. It's awesome for students at home when they don't have the ability to look at such a system. And as you can see here, you can also create a heart. Um, now that is the only organ that they currently have, but it is still quite interesting because you can remove valves, ventricles, you can remove the blood flow and uh, even the cardiac rhythm to it. But again, is it really helping our pedagogy? I don't know. Maybe if you have a suggestion, you can put it in the comments afterwards. Next up on the chopping block is Elements 4D. Now, it's made by the same creators of Anatomy 4D, so you're going to have to print off some paper. And uh, for this one, you have to fold them up and turn them into cubes. And what it does, it turns that cube into well, the digital equivalent. So you have carbon and you have hydrogen. Now, hydrogen is pretty boring. Obviously, it's empty. But carbon, you can see. And... The ability that you have with these cubes, uh, you can actually put them together sometimes too. So hydrogen and oxygen, when you try and combine them together, you're going to get water. And in the bottom right hand side, you can see that you have the balanced chemical equation. Now this is awesome for discovery. So students get to print off these blocks, they play with the blocks, and they see, well, hmm, some things combine with others, and others work, others don't. And why could that be? Now this is still in beta. So some things aren't combining as they should. Um, as you'll see here, if you're trying to combine mercury, or let's go with oxygen instead, let's combine oxygen and gold. So that should create uh, gold oxide, but we're not getting anything. Cool tool, but you can't rely on it 100%, and I think it would blow the students away um, to give them the ability to see some of those elements that they never really see in life. Now you have lithium oxide right here, balanced equation, all nice and good, but let's take a look at the last one. Without a doubt, my favorite app for modifying and redefining our pedagogy is Erasma. Now, what the app allows you to do is actually to create your own augmented reality. Now, what I'll do, I'll open the app and I'll actually, I'll let myself explain it. We're always looking for that evidence of learning, that evidence of understanding, but what if we could find it in a video like this? Imagine a word wall where every word has a definition of video and image accompanying it. Or imagine a wall of concepts in math and science and history, really in any subject, where the student is explaining their reasoning on how they got to their answer. Can you picture when parents come in to those parent-teacher meetings and they hold up their tablets and they see, wow, this is really what my kid is doing. This is what they're understanding. That would be something incredible. What if we were to go to the school library and normally you go to the back to read a summary? Well, what if I could go to the front and instead get a video summary there by one of the students? Or if we're out in the community and the community has an event going on? I hope that you found this tech tutorial useful. And if you have any questions, comments, or even ideas on how to use this in your classroom, please feel free to put them in the comments section. For me, I'm going to finish my tricks this morning. You have a good rest of the day.